Hey guys, I'm Deepthi Desikin and today's video I'm going to be talking about the MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. I got this one in the shade NC42. I got this during the MAC buy two get one offer on Nykaa and I got this just so that I can review it for you guys because a lot of you guys were asking me for an affordable dupe dupe for this particular product and because I didn't really have it I couldn't suggest anything so in today's video I'm going to be swatching and trying this one out on this side and on the right side we probably would have a possible good uh, dupe that is the color bar 24 hour weightless powder foundation I want to swatch both of these side by side and see if they are comparable if they are similar uh, if something is in fact better and also give you guys like a quick comparison with the Lakme 9 to 5 uh, primer plus matte powder foundation because of course it is available easily in the Indian market and it is a little bit more affordable compared to the color bar powder foundation so that is what I'm going to be doing so the MAC 1 retails for 2,900 rupees and you get 15 grams of product which is not cheap at all and if you are someone who uses this regularly I am pretty sure you would actually run out of this quite fast and the color bar 1 you get 9.5 grams of product for rupees 995 which again you do get about 5.5 grams more in the MAC product but it also retails for um, almost triple the price of the color bar powder foundation so with all that being said let's get started so you guys know the MAC powder foundation you get it in a lot of different shades I was confused if I should pick up NC 41 or 42 in the uh, foundation I used the shade NC 42 which is a little bit warm for me but I don't want something that is a little bit gray and ashy looking on my skin I don't mind if it is a little bit darker because a powder foundation I would like to use on its own rather than topping it off with something else you can do that you can uh, use a light coverage foundation and then top it off with a powder foundation just to add a little bit more buildable coverage and something that can keep your foundation in place but I use powder foundation just on its own okay so that's the reason I picked up NC42 so I'm gonna moisturize my skin with this one this is the Nutriderm moisturizer I have tried this moisturizer underneath the color bar powder foundation I have reviewed that as well I will link it right here in the cards so it worked really well with that powder foundation so I don't want to change anything and this is the moisturizer I actually gen genuinely use regularly with all of my other skincare products makeup products so if I s like some particular moisturizer I just stick to that I don't want to change my moisturizer and then uh, alter the performance of the product so in this video i'm just going to be using only a moisturizer not any primer so i want my skin to be really moisturized my skin is nice and hydrated let's move on and this top is really old i got this in 2009 or 10 which has like a hoodie which is there for no apparent reason and it's like dangling around <laughs> so let's get started this is how the mac powder foundation looks like it is their usual packaging i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are very well aware of this packaging it has studio fix mac written on it and when you press it open it has a mirror which i really like i like compacts to have mirror because when i'm doing my makeup especially like on camera i like a smaller mirror because i don't have to go close or the mirror doesn't cover up so that's good and right underneath here you have the sponge as well so applying it on this side like I mentioned I'm taking the sponge itself and I've observed this with powder foundations they work a lot better with the sponge it is a little bit dark for my skin but it's okay so in one swipe you do get a decent amount of product and just dragging it across my face you do need to like take the product pick up the product quite a few times um, I don't feel like the sponge is picking up just the right amount of product for me because I'm so used to the color bar foundation and it does a really good job of picking up the product so let me just try it with my um, buffing brush so I'll just try it one more time with a buffing brush just on top to see if it is adding any more coverage so this is after quite a few layers of the powder foundation I did have to build it up quite a bit it is very finely milled and it's not like it's caking up on my skin but 
I feel like it is giving me sort of medium coverage, which is pretty good. Let me just try to build up here. So how do I actually check if a product is giving me any coverage is because I have these laser marks on my face right here. And if anything can like remotely cover that, that's how I assume that it has pretty good coverage. And I'm also using this product underneath my eyes as well because I want to see if it can cover up anything underneath my eyes. And it's like a one and done kind of a product. I don't really have to use too many. So I'm just seeing if it does that. And it does a pretty decent job of concealing my under eye area. Not bad. But yeah, certainly would need a concealer actually. So this is done. I will leave it at this because I don't think I should be going any further with this product because I might be adding too much, too many layers. So leaving it at that. Then going ahead with this color bar foundation. This is what the packaging looks like. It's very nice and sleek and it um, will fit in your a uh, compact organizer if you had one both of these would but this is a little bit more sleek and it looks like a nice high-end product so when this one when i ordered it this sponge didn't come inside the product so it came in the uni carton it was kept aside so you decide how you want to store it so i just keep it back like this when i whenever i am uh, putting this product away so taking this much so this layer can you see this is what i picked up right now this sponge just picks up the right amount of product in my opinion. So can you see that? So in one dip, I'm going to call it dip because I don't know what else to tell. So in that one dip, I could cover this entire face and just the second one, I could finish up the rest of my face. Now what I'm going to be doing is building it up. So both these foundation shades are a tad bit darker for my skin tone and I feel like I'm okay with it. Like. Yeah, you can see there's a contrast between my face and my neck, but I'm okay with that. Um, I feel like lighter shades or even if it is my shade, I don't really find the warmth that I want and it just ends up looking a little bit ashy on my skin. So that's the reason I picked up these shades. I'm okay with it because I can wear it without a foundation underneath and that's the whole point for me of a powder foundation. I want to wear it just like that on a daily basis if I were to be going somewhere. Just trying to build it up just a little bit with the brush just to be fair and doing the same thing on both the sides so this is what both the powder foundations look like on my face i feel like okay looking really up close both of these look really similar on my face like i can't even make out which one is the mac one and which one is the color bar one like if i didn't tell any of you guys and i was to come and just ask you like are these two the same products or are they different i don't think you'd actually be able to tell that even this side it's smooth it's fine it's just gliding onto my skin and uh, yeah so far looking really nice so now what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be letting this rest on my face for just a bit and i'll come back and see how it looks so we can add a little bit of uh, blush and bronzer and everything on top of this just to see if all of those work just the same but so far i'm just going to be letting it rest like this and the time right now is uh, 7 53 which is i know quite late at night and i am filming at night these days because there's a lot less noise and disturbance and i'm able to film in peace so so i'll give it about an hour's time before i'm back and i'll tell you guys my final take on this product so i am back and i did give it about uh, one hour of wear time and you guys i just love how both these foundations look like on my skin so the mac or the color bar it actually doesn't make much of a difference because both of these do look really nice i wouldn't recommend however applying this underneath your eye as a concealer because it can be a little bit too drying for your under eye area and that that cannot be good so just use whatever is usually required for your under eye area like a nice creamy concealer I just wanted to do this to see how much of my pigmentation it can mask. That's all I wanted to do. But I would definitely use a liquid concealer on days when I'm using this all over my face. So it's looking really nice. And the good thing with these powder foundations is they don't really transfer onto your mask as much. They don't really transfer onto any object as much. So You guys can see it's not much of a transfer except for my lipstick. So I'm actually like pressing it on. 
and there's not much of a transfer which I really like. So these are very long wearing, they don't really move around, budge around. So this would suit for people with normal to combination oily skin type but if you have dry skin or combination dry skin where you have a little bit of dry patches on your face, I wouldn't recommend powder foundations at all. It could be a little bit too drying on your skin. So now I'm just going to be applying a little bit of blush on both the sides. So I am just going to be stopping with a blush because I don't think on a daily basis you would want to use a lot of powder highlighter. Let me tell you why. This product is a little bit too powdery, right? So when you use any powder highlighter, it's just looking a little bit too chunky and emphasizing a lot of texture and looking very artificial. So when you use a powder highlighter on top of a liquid product, a liquid foundation, it looks a lot better and it just blends well with your skin. It just meshes into your skin. But that's not the same thing with a powder foundation. So just keep the products that you're using on top of this very minimal because it just looks too much otherwise. Keeping in mind the price point and how the finish is and how it's wearing and how they look on the skin, I feel like the Color Bar Powder Foundation is a pretty good dupe for the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. In fact, I feel like it's a little bit better as well because the formulation is really nice. You get a decent quantity that is 9.5 grams of product for 995 rupees which you can also find on discount and every single time you run out of this you can actually repurchase it a lot easier as compared to 2900 rupees of this product and when you run out of it you have to wait for a sale and uh, buy two get one so you're just actually spending more money just to get this product and also if you wanted a cruelty free option you can try out color bar so this is what both the products look like side by side and i would definitely definitely recommend the color bar powder foundation over the max studio fix fluid foundation because it just looks really nice don't get me wrong, MAC powder foundation is really nice, but I'm just keeping in mind uh, the affordability, the quantity you get, the amount of times you can actually repurchase it, given that a lot of people use this on a daily basis and everything, the ease of repurchasing something, it's definitely available with color bar. So this is how both the foundations look like. I will also insert a demo of the Lacme 9 to 5 uh, Primer Plus Matte powder foundation on my face so it has sort of light to medium coverage i'm not very happy with the way the shade looks on my skin tone and they don't really have a lot of options for you to choose as opposed to color bar where you get about 15 shades and yeah it's good for people who don't really have that much of a problematic skin and you're not looking for as much coverage then you can definitely stick to the lacme 9 to 5 uh, primer plus matte powder foundation but if you want coverage and you want shade options definitely look at color bar one so for the lacme foundation this is how it looks like uh, compared to the MAC foundation but you guys can see that it is not as pigmented and doesn't give you as much coverage as the color bar powder foundation in fact you can use the Lacme powder foundation as a setting powder for your normal foundations because it's a very finely milled lightweight powder but the shade selection is not that good and also the coverage is not up to the mark of a powder foundation so i would say skip that and get the color bar powder foundation it's just amazing so yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you did give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time i upload a new video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye